In this series, we're going to be building a jQuery plugin that loads content via an Ajax request. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how this works, the kind of content that we can load in, and we're also going to look at how we activate the plugin and write the markup for this to work, just so you can see how easy it is to get going. So we've got uh, three links here, as well as quite a bit of content on this page, just to see how uh, the modal interacts when we scroll and things like that. You don't need to add all this test content, but it's a good idea if you want to see how uh, particularly longer content uh, reacts on the page. So clicking one of these uh, links here will actually reveal a modal window. And you can see that the background's been grayed out, much like you'd find on a normal modal window. And to close this, we can click the close button, or we can click anywhere in this dark area that will also close the modal window. Now these three links are all loading this content that you can see in here via an Ajax request to a file on our server. And this last one here is actually using a PHP file to echo this text out, whereas these are both static content. So we can take a look at these inside of the text editor. Um, let's take a look at the markup first. So for the first one, which was the list of fruit that we saw, um, this is uh, using a data attribute here to specify where this content is coming from. So in this case, it's coming from the content folder and we're loading in fruit.html. So if we open up the content folder here, you can see that we've got that file just here. So if we were to add another item on, go back to our page and refresh, that is then reflected there. So you can load any content that you want you can even load, say, a PHP file that's a little bit more dynamic. In this case, we're just echoing out some text, so there's not really much going on here. But obviously, it's not going to render the PHP code. It's always going to be compiled server-side. Anyway, let's take a look at how this is called. We've seen the links here. and We have a generic class of modal on these, and this is how we use the jQuery plugin to activate the uh, light boxes or modal windows, whatever you want to call them. On these items. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the page here, I'm obviously pulling in jQuery. Uh, I'm pulling this in from uh, the Google Google hosted libraries. We're then pulling in our jQuery plugin, which we're going to be writing. And then down here, I've just put this on this page. This would usually be contained in some external file. We're using a jQuery selector to select all modal classes. We're applying the plugin on here. And we're also then passing in a few options. So these options allow you to control the class of the modal window, as well as the class of the close button. You can also specify close text if you want, and you can then specify the class for the shade. And we're going to be building all of that with inside of this global.css file. So we'll be writing the styles in the next video. So that's pretty much how it works. It's entirely flexible. However, there are probably a few other additions you can make to this, depending on how you want this to work within your application. So let's go ahead in the next video, look at the styling for this, then we'll go ahead and build the functionality.